Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back for those of you that have been keeping up with this series, or for those of you that are new, welcome to this video. This is episode 3 to 5 unmarked hidden locations around Fallout 4, secret locations, whatever you want to call them. So without further ado, let's get into this. Hope you guys end up enjoying this episode. These unmarked locations will all be near Sanctuary. The first one I'm going to be starting off with is right around here on the map. Once you're here, you will notice a skeleton up against this water purifier. It seems that he might have shot himself because there is a pistol next to him that you can grab, along with some other junk that you can loot next to him. And also be sure to look on top of this water purifier as well. And the coolest part about this spot is if you notice when you try to open this lid, to the water purifier it will say that you can't open it it's vacuum sealed well if you follow this hose all the way down to the circuit breaker you can activate it to open up this lid that was previously locked and inside will be a nice bottle cap stash it's pretty nice this next one is an old firing range and it's located right around here on the map there's not too much good loot around here but still a pretty cool firing range to say the least there are targets set up here as well that you can try to shoot at this firing range and if you go back over here behind it there will be a few more items that you can scavenge before leaving this hidden area if you decide to come here and check it out firsthand. Anyways this next location is pretty awesome looking it is a little raider den that was made on a hilltop it will be located right around here on the map. Not gonna lie this would be the type of place I'd love to chill at in real life of course minus all the radiation and nuclear warfare but Oh in all, this place is pretty daggone awesome and wouldn't be that difficult to create at all. It has a nice scenery here. Anyways, this next location is a crash vertebrae with some pretty decent loot around. It will be located right around this area. As you can see, parts of the crash plane are scattered around and there is vines overgrowing on it too. So it seems it has been here for a while. Not to mention all the soldiers around are skeletons now. You know, that could have been from the nuclear warfare, though. There is also a helmet inside this plane that you can grab. Also, there's a duffel bag a little north from the plane with some decent loot to scavenge as well. And not to mention some mole rats to kill for some easy experience. Lastly, this next one is literally right above Sanctuary on the map. A raider seems to have made a shack out in the woods out here. Also, with his trusty sidekick that is with him. Of course, there is also some loot that you can scavenge in this shack. Nothing too crazy inside it though, but nonetheless this place is still hidden in a random area in the woods and is unmarked. But I guess that's about wrapping up all these unmarked locations. There will be plenty more to come. There is tons and tons of unmarked locations around Fallout 4. So if you're interested in these hidden areas and you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all these unmarked locations, you know? But I'm out of here, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you could, please remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like. It's greatly appreciated, everyone. But this has been your rifle, and remember to stay safe out there and try not to sleep in pee, okay? Peace. 10 Creepy Locations in Fallout 4 Number 10 this place is an unmarked location in Concord, and it's not too difficult to find. When first entering on the first floor, you will notice some skeleton 